Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here. Uh, Midjourney released a new feature yesterday called Remix. What this allows you to do is to take a prompt that you've already done and then kind of rebake some of the details so you end up with something different. Uh, so this gives you the option between moving between, say, the test P version of the uh, current, uh, kind of the beta test of the photography-oriented mixer, I mean, I call it, and the test, which is a little more creative one, and then the original version three, which is really artistic and a lot of people really love. Uh, so this gives you the option to kind of look at something, but it also allows you to change other details of the prompt. Now there are some limitations and I did kind of break it a little bit. So I wanna talk about uh, some of the things that I stumbled across when I was working with it. Uh, so let's take a look. So to get started, simply enable the remix mode when you do slash settings inside of Discord. That's the button at the bottom right hand side. And then we'll turn this on. Now, anytime you click on one of the V buttons underneath one of the options that you're given, um, it will pop up an additional dialogue and ask you for clarification on the prompt. And you can change some things. Now, I did find some limitations with this. For example, I started out here with this uh, Gothic female vampire. Since it is uh, Halloween season, <laughs> I wanted to go this direction. Now, what I did is attempt to change it from black hair to red hair. And this is the result that I received. Obviously, I did something wrong, so I went ahead and went to blonde. And then I went uh, on to other redheads and tried to explore different things. In fact, uh, went the extremes here. Let's try a female clown with flowing red hair. And uh, let's try a elegant redheaded female NASCAR driver. And I got this. So you can see that we have some issues. And the biggest, I think, point of departure problem here is that I started with an image before uh, this all came out. Uh, at least that's what I originally thought. Upon creating a new one, uh, so I, I created this one here, redheaded female vampire with flowing hair. So it's the same thing, but I started with red hair this time and I got this and then I started playing with it again. So uh, this is obviously my NASCAR driver version. So if you start with the typical block of four, uh, so I went ahead and did that here and you can see elegant redheaded female vampire. I started here and then I started doing the variations. So I went from there to a blonde and you can see that it did indeed work. Uh, and it may not be all blonde, but it did take a nice uh, leap and did what I wanted it to do on the uh, variants that I tried. Uh, then I went ahead and changed it to white hair and you can see that actually worked uh, pretty well as well. It, it did, uh, again, some interpretation, but that's what we're here for, right? The happy art surprises. Now uh, I did like what I had, but I think the version three algorithm is not as good as the test P algorithm. Uh, so that's where this starts to shine. So I brought that up again and changed it to dash dash test and dash dash test P and got something that now I'm actually pretty happy with. Now I can continue to uh, mess with this. And I went ahead and started changing the prompt a bit. Say so went back to red hair and you see that it did indeed honor. Now it doesn't seem to handle aspect ratio is very well. So if you're shifting the aspect ratio later to something taller or something wider, uh, there does seem to be a bit of stretching. It's attempting to do the best it can, uh, but I did get something that didn't look a little forced. Uh, now I eventually took this to another point and thought I would change the style. So I went with the style of watercolor and uh, it really did not uh, honor that at all. It kind of ignored me. Uh, so again, it started over and this is what a watercolor would have looked like had it started out that way. Uh, so, of course, the ultimate test is uh, a elegant red-haired Greg Rutkowski, NASCAR driver, flowing hair in the style of Greg Rutkowski. And God, so you can see it is honoring pieces of this. So, obviously, this is very new. It launched just yesterday, and they've already said, hey, it's going to take some time to massage it and, and get its place in your workflow and to figure out what exactly it can and cannot do. Everybody, that's the new remix capability from Midjourney. Uh, so obviously some pretty cool functionality and they've been kind of quiet for a while. So I'm expecting some, some big moves out of them fairly soon. We'll have to wait and see. Everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.